again. I'm here at the Seco Science Center. But my next episode was at the Mystic Aquarium in Connecticut. But we had problems with filming me there talking about the animals I saw. So I'm going to do the episode right now. First animals that we saw at the Mystic Aquarium were the beluga whales. Now, we all know beluga whales. They're 20 feet long and weigh two tons, and they live in the Arctic. In fact, they're one of the three species of whales that actually live in the Arctic the whole year round. The other two species are the beluga's close cousin, the narwhal, which is about the same size and weight and length as a beluga whale, and the bowhead whale. There are lots of other whales that come and go from the Arctic, but these are the only three species, the only three species that actually live in the Arctic the whole year round. I saw beluga whales in the wild when I went to Alaska too. Another animal that I saw at the Mystic Aquarium that I also saw in Alaska in the wild was the stellar sea lion. The, I told and I told you about that in the Alaska episode. The stellar sea lion is the largest sea lion in the world and also the third largest pinniped in the world. Pinnipeds are members of the seal family. The only two pinnipeds that are larger than the stellar sea lion are the elephant seal and the walrus. The stellar sea lion is 13 feet long and weighs two tons and <clears throat> it's it's a predator like all sea lions because all all pinnipeds are carnivores and they all eat fish there are a few species of pinnipeds that will eat other things like leopard seals and I think um, some other species of sea lion have will eat penguins We also saw sea turtles and penguins at the aquarium. I mentioned sea turtles when I was in Hawaii. And um, the penguins, there's several different species of penguins. The ones we saw there were African penguins. And um, the interesting is the African penguin has a close cousin that lives in South America called the Magellanic penguin. It looks very similar to it. The Magellanic penguin is also known as the jackass penguin because of the sound it makes. It sounds exactly like a donkey, a jackass. And the sea turtle that was there, I think it was green sea turtles. And the largest sea turtles in the world, which are also the largest members of the turtle family in the world, are the leatherback sea turtles. They're like 10 feet long and weigh two tons. And some sea turtles, like the green sea turtle, and some sea snakes, like the olive sea snake, can hold their breath underwater the longest of any animal, as long as five hours. behind a wooden hexagon here. I don't know what it's for, but some other animals that I saw at the Mystic Aquarium. There were actually three species of sea lions there, I think. There was the stellar sea lion, California sea lion, and I think there was the northern fur seal too. Despite the name, fur seals are not really seals. They're sea lions. The difference between seals and sea lions is seals actually don't bark. It's not seals that bark, it's sea lions that bark. And seals have short front flippers and no floppy ears. Sea lions, however, they have long front flippers and they do have floppy ears. And seals only use their front flippers to move on land. Sea lions use 
all four flippers. So there's three different family groups in the pinniped family. There's seals, sea lions, and walruses. Although I think the walrus might be a type of seal, but who knows. But anyway, um, the, the largest sea lion in the world, the stellar sea lion, is also the third largest pinniped in the world. The walrus is the second largest pinniped in the world. And the largest seal in the world is also the largest pinniped in the world, the elephant seal. Thanks again for watching. See you next time on another episode of Ben's Wild Adventure.